So I'm not a trained chef or professional cook, I am literally a mummy in a kitchen. However, because I love to cook, I've picked up some things that I think work well in terms of speed, easiness, deliciousness, and I'd like to share them with you. So, the first is when you're browning meat, and this applies to spaghetti bolognese or chilli or anything else, you're going to cook the meat like this because it's lamb I won't add any extra oil and we're going to really brine it and that's so important in terms of caramelising the meat and giving a lovely richness of flavour to the sauce. So in goes the lamb, I'll pop it on the hob and then we'll see how brown it is when we go to check it in a few minutes. So what you want is for the meat to be really really brown and when I say brown the meat I mean take it from grey to a beautiful caramel brown and that's what gives it the flavour. Take the browned meat out of the pan and into the meaty, oily from the lamb pan, you add in a chopped onion and clove of garlic. And then you cook it off for about five minutes until the onions become lovely and see through and soft but not brown. Turn the heat down a little bit and put the lid on and that sweats the onions. This is something I've learned fairly recently. Leave it like that for two or three minutes. They won't go brown or black, which would be bitter, but the heat and the moisture stay in, making them lovely and translucent and soft and that's what we want. Let's take off the lid. They're looking perfect. And we're gonna add in some whole tomatoes. This is something else I learned very recently. If you keep them whole until the end of the cooking, they actually retain their sweetness and you don't need to add any extra sugar. Then we've got some chopped courgette, nice and healthy, a tablespoon of flour just to thicken it all up, and a good pinch of cinnamon and this really adds a beautiful depth to the flavour. Pop that in like that. Let's have two just for fun. And then we give it a good mix with adding the lovely browned lamb and that is the colour we want. Mix it through and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. And because it's not full of liquid I'm going to let it simmer with the lid on so it stays nice and moist and tasty. See you in 20 minutes. step in the Osaka recipe is literally to put some things together. We've got some egg, two beaten eggs, about a tablespoon of parmesan, and a little pinch of nutmeg. We're going to mix it all together and that's going into some lovely fresh plain natural yogurt. So we've had the meat in the oven for 20 minutes, just cooking slowly and here's the magic bit. We're going to add in some aubergine smoke dip, which means you don't have to faff around, you don't have to salt the aubergines, you don't have to let them stand, you don't have to rinse them off, pat them dry, you go like this. So between a third and a half of a pot, I don't want to burn myself, stir it in. So how easy is that? It's your aubergine bits done. So then we're just going to put on topping, add the cheese and then we bake it and this tastes absolutely incredible. Rich, creamy, savoury, smoky, divine. Put that, woo, that on there. Oh, that's going to be so nice. And now we put it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Good. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Smells cheesy, rich, lamby, and beautiful. It takes a second for the aubergine and the smokiness to come through. When they do, that is such a winner. Really special. Hope you like it. <laughs>